days. Get ready to bug out on Lake Winnebago. It's officially Lake Fly season. New at 6, Brian Nisnancy tells us when these nasty pests are their worst this year. A west wind on the south shore of Lake Winnebago has kept the city of Fond du Lac lake fly free, but that's not the case about 10 miles north. It's a terrible mess when the flies are really bad. They're considered by many as gross, slimy, they stink, and there's millions of them. The lake flies have hatched on Lake Winnebago. I've been out here already where the flies are a real nuisance and you just it's not comfortable to be out there. The hatch is so intense it can be picked up on radar. When they hatch, they're plentiful. They get in your hair, they go up your sleeves, they're everywhere, they're coated on your houses. But what many find disgusting, photographer Kathy Steffs has captured its beauty. The Lake Winnebago lake fly has a lifespan of only a few days, but a much larger purpose as they lay eggs and supply the bottom of the food chain. They feed the sturgeon, they, see, they feed the ducks, the, all the wildlife flying that are transient coming back or leaving Wisconsin for the winter or summer. Um, so, you know, they have a purpose and um, we just need to understand and appreciate that purpose. Now, there may be no sign of lake flies today, but the locals know that once the wind ships out of the north again, they'll be in for a real treat. In Fond du Lac, Brian Isnanski, today's <laughs> TMJ4. When they're in town, get out of the way. Yeah, well, it's no ugly. flies on the radar tonight, but a cool down on the way for the weekend. Find out.